everyone. You know, I was I have my speech, but this is one of those wow moments for our city and our state. It's a beautiful spring morning, a time for new beginnings, and a time for new experiences. And another milestone for the great city of Las Vegas, as everyone has said, one of the greatest cities in the world. Jim, I really appreciate your kind words and the invitation to join all of you today. This is an exciting week for all of us. It's an honor to welcome the Consul General here with us as well. And you know, as I look at your the work of your countrymen and women, it's truly impressive and, and something that people will enjoy for decades to come. Now the strength of our gaming industry is its ability to provide one-of-a-kind experiences. There's not a better collection of hotels, restaurants, shopping, entertainment, and gaming in the world than Las Vegas. We're simply the best. Come on, that's it. <laughs> MGM has solidified its place as an anchor of the world-famous Las Vegas Strip and emerged as a leader in the global gaming community. But today, as has been mentioned, marks a change in the traditional Las Vegas Strip opening. One of the greatest needs of the Strip has been open space and natural settings and the display of public art. Of all the creative changes that we've seen on the Las Vegas Strip, the park, which is void of gaming, is the most community-driven development that MGM has yet developed. MGM Resort's decision to allocate premium Las Vegas Strip land for a public park is another example, another example of the change of focus for the gaming industry and the vision and the commitment MGM has for the Las Vegas community. The park will introduce more than 40 million visitors who travel to Las Vegas to another side of Nevada that we all know and love. We are a state that values the arts, culture, and the outdoors. The park was made possible by a team of artists and designers who combined our desert landscape with cutting edge designs in a sustainable way. Hey, uh, one of the things that I learned today is this stone is native stone. And as, as Jim mentioned, was quarried right by here. That makes it really special. Firstly, Jim, I want to thank you. Many of you might, may not know this, but Jim has a passion for the arts and is an advocate for bringing this love to life and sharing it with all of us. And I found a quote by Albert Einstein, and this is what he once said. The ideals that have lighted my way and time after time have given me new courage to face life cheerfully have been kindness, beauty, and truth. Jim Moran is a visionary who's made this park a reality. Jim, thank you for making